नमस्कार एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल मूच और कैनेडा आई हैव बीन गेटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन अराउंड हु इज अलाउड टू विजिट द पीस आज पार्क एंड हु इज इंट सो आई थॉट ऑफ डूइंग अ फॉलो अप वीडियो ऑन द टॉपिक एंड जस्ट ट्राइन आंसर अ फ्यू क्वेश्चन फॉर यू गाइज सो आई डिड अ वीडियो अ फ्यू वीक्स बैक telling you about a peace arch park that exists between Blaine Washington in the US and Surrey BC in Canada where even with the travel restrictions in place you can still go there and meet your friends and family who stay across the border yes that's right if you haven't watched that video i'll drop a link in the description please do go back and watch that before we move on with the video please do subscribe to the channel and smash that like button It really helps me stay motivated to keep making these videos. Let's dive in. I myself hold a permanent residency status in Canada. So when I went to meet my family at the park, while coming back I had to present my permanent residency card to the immigration officer on duty and then they allowed me to hop back into Canada. If you're on a work permit or a student visa, In my opinion you will still be allowed to go to the park and meet your friends and family. However, I'm not too certain about people who are in Canada on a visitor visa. Would they be allowed? I'm not too sure. Being from a different country and maybe also new to Canada, all of us have an inhibition of walking up to to an immigration officer or a cop to ask something or get a clarification. But in my experience the immigration officers and the cops who are placed at the park are very helpful and supportive so do not hesitate at all they deal with people like us who are there to meet their friends and families day in and day out every day for the last one and a half years i suggest if you are even a little doubtful whether your documents are good enough or not to enter back into canada from the park go a little ahead of time when you want to visit your friends and family walk up to the immigration officer who's on duty show your documents to that officer and ask them whether you will be allowed to enter back into canada or not without any hassle the officer on duty will be happy to help you with it worst case if the officer says that your documents are not good enough you cannot enter the park you can still meet your friends and family yes you heard me right there is a way out the immigration officers have identified a meet and greet area at one corner of the park So on the Canadian side on Avenue 0 from where you enter the park at one corner there's a meet and greet section that has been created for people whose documents are not good enough or are not complete or for someone who has forgotten to carry their documents which happened with me by the way once I forgot to take my PR cards that's a story for another day so uh, for such people they can still meet at that meet and greet area people from the US side can also come to the sidewalk there you from the canadian side can also stay in that section you can still meet there you just practically cannot enter the park it's a confined area where you can still catch up so i would say if you're really going there to meet your friends and family and worst case if you're not allowed to enter the park it is a wonderful solution at least you get to see them another good news is that us borders are opening for fully vaccinated canadian residents so that's going to solve a lot of problems for all of us as well That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video and found the information valuable. Please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.